Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I thought I would go over seven trading lessons for today or any day actually to help you. <clears throat> this is me. If you'd like more information you can email me at melissa at the or call me at 3200 gap. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So for those of you that don't know, I started trading back in 2008. It's 10 years actually in December and it feels like a long time and yet it feels like I've been doing gaps forever. That's the only thing I focus on in the market and I had a good chuckle. Um, actually this was on Sunday when I wrote this article. I had a good chuckle because I get solicited from every trading educational place in the world just like you people do um, and everyone on my list, which is most of you, um, have come to webinars and then you sign up for my list and, and in the last six years I've had the stock swoosh I've still been getting emails from people that I had signed up for 10 years ago. You know, some of them around, some of them aren't. And I never open them up, but for, some, for whatever reason, in my personal email, I chose on Sunday to open up an email, bored on the couch watching TV, and I even took the time to listen to the video in the email, and it motivated me to write this script. So the video went over roughly 18 completely and totally different stock symbols that that, that one trader uh, who said that they ran a trading room, did in one day. And and he was touting it like it was some great thing, some amazing thing. 18 trades is just ridiculous to me. In one day, one day, 18 different ticker symbols. And and, and he, was, he was bragging that somehow this method he was doing was fantastic. I don't think it was method at all. He just was giving pot shots of things. But anyways, I'm thinking 18 trades, 18 different symbols in a day. That's insane. Your commissions would add up to be huge if you did that many. And chances are you'd lose or it'd be very hard to follow that person. So anyways, of the 18, eight were losers. According to this person and 10 were winners in the group. And the person said they had a great method. And I, I just laughed so hard I almost fell off the couch. I mean, it just, I was, I mean, I'm laughing right now even thinking about it again, <laughs> thinking about the video. Because 18 trades or 18 ticker symbols is insane. Anyways, I remember the days when I started trading 10 years ago when I would be in a trading room, not unlike the one in the video that that guy runs even today, and I would lose, and I would lose, and I would lose. And I would think that this was totally stressful, and then I would think it's not even possible to make money in the market because from 9.30 to 4, I'd be in these trading rooms that would trade all day and do 18, 10, 20, 30 trades a day, and I'd think this is nuts. And, and they'd take them and they'd kill them, and they'd take them and they'd kill them, and, and it was just impossible to follow, and they'd be in more than one thing at a time. But they would also think that, gosh, you know, I can't even duplicate what this person's doing. Even if they were profitable, there's no way I would think to myself that I could even duplicate what this person's doing. So then I bailed in that room and it was the same in every room. And then I eventually started to create my own method. And that's what led me to doing the golden gap in my own thing. But so many trading rooms over trade. In fact, I'm, I'm certain that I'm probably one of the few out there does, that does not. I don't have the room open all day for one thing. And I just could not stand the over trading of basically every trade room out there who, who are very difficult to follow. And, and I'm not, I'm easy to follow. So that's one of the reasons when I created my own business, I said, you know what, I'm going to tell people what to do and then I'm going to do it. And I'm going to tell them to stop because you have to keep the money you make in the morning. And even if you take a loss in the morning, you should stop so that you don't have big losses. Anyways, one of the things that I do very well, as I'm clear on what stock I'm watching, one or two, typically one, and I usually focus on one ticker symbol at a time and preferably only one per day. And if I end up having to watch more than one ticker symbol, chances are I'm really not having a great day. And I'm literally that precise in usually picking the best thing that day that works. It's not that every trade wins, but I definitely have conviction in what I choose. And, and when you're doing 18 things, in a day, you say, wait a minute, you, there's no way you'd have conviction in 18 different things. So the person in the video said they know how to reprice action, which I thought was hilarious, really well, and that they just kill something if it's not working with a loss after they took the trade. Why even take a trade if it's not going to work? And to me, that's just taking pot shots. And that's what most traders do. And if you're following a person like that that's leading a trading room, you're losing. And after 18 different symbols in one day, that is pretty obvious to me that you'd be losing. So part of the reason I'm really good at what I do is my focus. And I don't take pot shots or just kill something if it doesn't go right away. Sometimes we take a trade, it's down, stop is holding, and then it goes on to be a winner. 
I stick with the traits, stick with the conviction of a rating system that I apply to every single stock. And I only do it if I see the setup after I rate it on the live day, if it meets my criteria or the point system. And that's what you learn in the class with me. And I have a hundred percent conviction in what I'm looking at, or I don't do it at all. In fact, if I don't have conviction in something, I don't do it. I'm not giving it a chance. That that's like that. I mean, that is just so crazy to me. And the thing is, that's how most people trade. And that guy's running a room. And people are following him. And they've got to be losing. I mean, I, it's just there's no way they could be winning. Less trades means more wins and less losses. And that means more profits. And it also makes it easier for students and new traders, if you're following me and really looking at one thing, it'd be hard for you to screw it up. Unless you're showing you new, you don't know how to press the button in a platform. But I suggest to people, if you're new, trade in a demo first so that you do not fat finger a trade and actually short when you mean to go long or vice versa. You got to know how to press the button in the right direction. That's key. And most, most brokers will teach you, okay, for free in, in a training session. But anyways, I have about a 70% win ratio, not a 55% win ratio because eight losses and 10 wins and 18, 18 ticker symbols is a, is, is a 55% win ratio. And I don't know what he averages, but I'm just saying that's insane to me. With a low win ratio and too much of a trading, you need big winners to survive or even just break even after commissions and platform fees. And although I may have the occasional big one, it's not every day or even every week, all right? So let's get to what you can take away from this today besides the fact that you should never ever trade, which is the highlight from today's lessons. There's seven trading lessons for you today and every day you should remind yourself, get up in the morning, read these and proceed. Number one, get really good at one thing if you want to make money in the market, period, end of story. So I'm good at gaps. That's it. I don't need anything else. Boom. That's it. Two, do not over trade ever. It leads to losses. You'll never win. And if you're doing that three, four, five days a week, there's no way you're ever going to get anywhere. And if someone tells you that they're doing 18 trades a day or 25 trades a day, chances are they're losing. Three, focus on one or two ticker symbols per day. Then you can read stocks better. You'll understand how price movement works. You'll be focused. You'll be less stressed. You'll be more relaxed. You can take more size. You can focus on what you're doing in the specific ticker symbol you're in, and you can hold the conviction. Four, follow a system daily. Don't deviate. Do not deviate or make it up as you go along. If you come and take my class, follow what I do. Don't pre-create something. I already created it. You pay me, you come, you learn it, you do it. That's it. Five, follow a mentor and a moderator in a trading room that doesn't take pot shots and who you can understand and does not over trade. It's crazy to me. It's, it's crazy to me. Six, having a high win ratio is more important than getting big wins or even having a huge day, although it can happen. It's about the consistent wins and not only that, about chunking it out to build your own account. And seven, don't be cheap. Gosh, there's so many people that are cheap. Rich people that I've talked to are cheap. Get an education first before you risk your money in the market. If you don't get education and just jump from room to room, guess what? You will lose your money in your trading account. And if you trade and you don't have any education, you're going to lose. I just talked to a gentleman in the last week. From the time I originally spoke to him and he did not sign up for the class, and the last month he lost half his account. And I don't know if he'll do the class or not, but chances are he'll lose the rest of his account because he doesn't have any education in the correct system or strategy and not buying a mentor, and he doesn't want to spend the money in education. And I'm telling you right now, don't be cheap. If you follow someone that knows what they're doing, you're going to be profitable and make money. If you're out there jumping around, you're just destined to lose. It could be a slow bleed, but you're going to lose in the end. And that is just, is just silly. So ultimately, if you want to make money in the market, you can do this for a living if you want to. You can do it part-time. The hours are definitely part-time, but you're working for yourself and you're working from home and you're using your own funds to do it and your own ingenuity. If you'd like to learn my method, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a class I teach usually once a month. I haven't done a class for a while. I've been so busy trying to squeeze in two more classes before the end of the year. The next one is this weekend, November 17th and 18th, and then I'm doing the Sunday, Monday, if you can't make it Saturday, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. 
Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. The class is online. It can be anywhere in the world and take it. If you want to do the combo, it's $64.99 US, do US dollars. And that means if you want to sign up, you have to email me. I send you the forms. You would fill out your information with your credit card, and that's, then it would be processed, and you can split it up on several cards. Once the brand new site is done, you'd fill it out in the shopping cart, but either way, it has to be paid with a credit card. That's the only way I accept it, and I do accept all major credit cards. The good thing about the trends is that you learn long-term trends, and you would save on this two classes in one, and you do the trends class in December, so you'd save $500. Now, if you just want to do options, that's available too. The option letter is you get every trade for a year. Email to you, you don't learn the system though. But it's five grand for the year, $49.99. Trades are emailed to you. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you want to register. Definitely, definitely sign up so you don't miss any more trades between now and the end of the year. If you're interested in anything I said tonight, please email me. Just think about the things I said. Just be smart about the way that you choose to spend your money particularly in trades that you take or following people that you don't know what they're doing, can't follow them. And over trading is deadly. It's just deadly. I know from my own experience 10 years ago, and I'm telling you it is deadly. And any, mo any moderator of any trading room that is doing 10, 15, 20 trades or more a day is, is doing a disservice to the people that are following them and you're not going to make any money in the long run that way. Please do not get in the habit of over-trading. If you have any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone.